I'm David Coolahan from the Tax Office. Our project was Small Business Fix-It Squads. We um, work with small business and, uh, and government. We've got people in a room and we looked at ways to deliver red tape reduction for, for small business. And over the last 12 months we've delivered over $100 million in red tape reduction for small business. I think we were lucky in that we had fairly senior support, but I think um, the hurdle you've always got across is how do, you just, how do you justify or how do you explain doing something new? The government's really good at doing variations on the theme or doing something a little bit different, but we wanted to do something totally different. I think that was the biggest hurdle that we had to overcome. The tax office has traditionally been risk adverse. I think we're moving away from, from that um, risk averse posture. I think we were lucky, as I said, to have very senior support and we had permission to innovate, so we really had permission to go and try something new. And for us, it was about delivering something for small business. So we were very externally focused, and our brief was to actually deliver savings for, for small business, rather than focus internally on what we've done before. I think what we do in, ta in the tax office quite often is that we um, position things as pilots. Pilots don't always have to succeed. Pilots are opportunities to learn, opportunities to fail, and just opportunities to try something new. I think failure is a real risk. We started actually not knowing what the outcomes were. So our proposition was that we would walk into a room with small business and we would ask them what they needed, from, uh, what, what they needed um, in terms of help. Um, we didn't know what we were going to deliver in any sort of detail. So I guess did we, were we positioned for failure? Maybe yes, maybe no. We didn't know what we were going to deliver. So I think that was a, a, a bigger ask. Every time you do something different, it's an opportunity to learn. I don't like to think in terms of success and failure. I like to think in terms of, an, of experience. So we're going to go, we're going to try something. It might work, it might not work. If it doesn't work, we're going to learn from it. We're going to try something different. We do have a formal structure and a formal process for innovation, but I think as we have become more client focused and we're looking to deliver a better client experience, a lot of our processes are becoming more externally focused and by definition that does bring change. My view is that there's big eye innovation, there's little eye innovation. Doing something differently is innovation and people shouldn't get too caught up in looking for the next big thing or trying to reinvent you know, the rocket ship or the spaceship. Little changes in government can make a big difference. Don't think too big. I think that often we get hung up in government on looking for the next big thing. As we've been able to prove in the Fix It Squad, actually making small changes across government actually delivers big results for small business. I think what's really important are the relationships that you build, the ability to build trust with your stakeholders, and just the commitment to actually deliver on what you said you'd do.